You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Good Friday, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. So they took Jesus and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull in Hebrew Golgotha. There they crucified him and with him two others, one on either side with Jesus in the middle, standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clophas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a spring of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and handed over his spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Look at the picture of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Imagine that you were there that day on Golgotha, that you were part of the crowd that had followed Jesus, that had watched him carry his heavy cross through the streets of Jerusalem. You watched as he was beaten and whipped by the Roman soldiers. You saw the crown of thorns pushed into his head, and you watched as the blood dripped down his face. Imagine that you were there to hear the hammers as they pounded nails into both of his hands and his feet. Imagine that you were there as they hoisted the cross up with ropes and as it fell down, crashing into the hole that they had dug. Imagine that you saw Jesus there, hanging in agony, nailed to the cross. Take a minute and investigate the wounds of Jesus. Look at his face, his hands, his feet, his side. Next, look at the mother of Jesus, Mary, who followed Jesus as he carried his cross through Jerusalem. She wept. She loved him from a distance. And there at the foot of the cross, she stands looking up at him, her heart pierced with grief. Look at her face and see the tears that continue to run down her cheeks. Wonder with her how this happened, how Jesus, the lover of our souls, the savior of the world, ended up here. Yet, like Mary, Refuse to doubt God's plan. Refuse to doubt his goodness. Now listen to Jesus' voice stretched thin in agony. I thirst, he says. Feel the thirst of Jesus on the cross. He thirsts for you. He thirsts for you to look at him on the cross and understand that this was done for you. Finally, Jesus says, it is finished. All that he came to do from his birth in a humble barn in Bethlehem, through his years of ministry and preaching and healing, through his passion and now his death, it is finished. The ultimate sacrifice has been made. He has done it all and it is finished. Watch Jesus bow his head and hand over his spirit. And in that moment, Even though it is the middle of the afternoon, watch the sun disappear and darkness descend. Feel the earth shake beneath your feet as God himself 
grieves the death of his only son. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.